Yeah, that's what I mean, like, okay, fair enough, you've done how it works, it's quite overwhelming. It's not really a place, basically they're not supposed to send four students to this ward, because it is an intense ward, like, it's very specialist, just, uh, yeah. But because they have too many students, not enough placements, they end up sending all the first years here. And they just, just, just don't know what they're doing. Like, yesterday, obviously this boy is on chemotherapy, he's got low white cells, he's neutropenic, and then she comes back to me and says he's got a fever. And I'm like, what's his temperature? He said 38. And I was like, oh my gosh, like, told the doctor, he's like, okay, and he got antibiotics all of these things. Went into the room just to check myself, the temperature and the numbers, like 36.7. And I was like, asked him and the dad to be like, oh, where did she take temperature? Was it in his mouth or under the arm? He was like, oh yeah, it's in the mouth. And I was like, because he was eating at the time and I did. But I was like, oh, was he eating? He was like, yeah, he'd just taken a mouthful of his hot rice when she checked. Like, where's your common sense? Obviously, it's going to be his tongue's going to be hot. Well, <laughs> you know, when it's like that, surely it's just common sense at this point. It had to be like, just so you know, in the future, if they're eating, it's not an accurate temperature because the, obviously their mouth's going to be colder or hotter if they're eating cold or hot food. You know? so like, oh, uh, don't put it in you just made my day like 10 times so stressful. So one thing I thought I could trust her to do was just do self motivation. Yeah, No, no, just like, I was so stressed because I was getting platelets as others. Yeah, we don't have the ear ones. We have under arm or in the mouth, but... holidaying, too much good food, too much, I've just been so busy, you know, when you're like, you just try and plan your meals, but, mm. Mm, yeah, Josh is also giving up, we need to get back on it, but you know, when you're like, you know, you've got all these trips coming, you know, you're not going to eat well, so it's kind of like, why don't you just not bother, <laughs> uh, but yeah, no, it's okay. like, I've been trying to be good this week, apart from tonight, I've been quite good, meal prep. Yeah, she's good. She's busy. She wants to learn to see each other. Yeah, still living there. Yes, all good. Still in the same job. But yeah, it's cool actually. A bit random, but it's actually a cool city. Yeah, I think because they none of them have been there either, so they want to go somewhere like new. Yeah, it was, it was very nice. It was busy, lots of food. Yeah, it was very nice. 
Yeah, that's good. I mean, it was literally a free holiday. I didn't pay for a single thing. His mum paid for the flights, the accommodation, every meal we ate. So, can't complain really, can I? <laughs> Yeah, sent her a bunch of flowers. So are you going? Are you going to thingies? When are you going to thingies? What? I'm so excited. I really wish I could switch mm, my bike. To not really. Like you can see, like the world issues don't really affect them. There, they're not really bothered by world news kind of thing. Like you know, in London, get like protests. I think it's some news going on. They care about. They're kind of impartial. There's a lot of like Russian people there as well. A lot of people they speak apparently when they go to school they learn that Russian as a first language and then learn Latvian later on. So I mean Josh and his mum and everyone can speak to everyone. It's quite handy in that. Respect. That's good food actually, it's very Eastern European that's kind of Russian. Metro Russian restaurant in that way. Very nice. Dumplings, meat, fish, vegetables. Quite simple. Yeah, actually very friendly people. Yeah, it's just weird, isn't it? Because it's completely, it's like not Russian, but it's not like the left of the other that we use either. It's like an in-between. Some of the letters, like when you look at the signs, they're very strange, like it doesn't make any sense. You know when you go to like France or Italy, you can kind of make it out. That language is completely like, it's completely different, so I couldn't even... Yeah, it's a completely different outfit. Yeah. 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 What are you doing now? Yeah. Yeah, it was nice, very nice weather. Sunny. Oh, yeah. Walked around. Oh, the beach we went to though, we went to like the seaside town. It's really nice like this. It's like in these trees, like in this massive woods. And um, out of, as you go down from the woods there's this beach. I mean the actual beach was horrible. As in like the sea is just not very nice sea but the like Houses in the woods were really cute, and they're all like these wooden. They put wood on these wooden panels on the sides of their houses. So they look really cute in the woods. So it's very pretty going through the trees in these cute little houses. Two and a half hours. Not that long actually. It's longer to get to some parts of Italy and Greece. That's so easy. Yeah, I guess it's just straight across, basically in a bit. You're not far from like Copenhagen. If you look across the sea, it's like Copenhagen, it's basically. So you're like in that part. But I was impressed by how warm it was. Oh my god, I had obviously it's um, quite far north. But it was really hot. But hotter than here, but it's very north. So I'm gonna get <laughs>
Do we really need to do
Okay. 